If Maroon 5 could actually play instruments, <laughs> if Bon Jovi had any actual talent, if the Foo Fighters had any actual songs, they still wouldn't be able to lick the boots of the greatest heavy metal band of all time, Guar. It's the band that makes the Beatles look like four hacks with bad haircuts. That's because, as any fan would tell you, Guar rules, and this fall they'll kick off their 30th anniversary tour. Joining us now, the band's leader, the berserker Blothar. Blothar! Oh. How, you doing? How you doing there, man? I'm great. I'm great. Um, 30 years. Are you surprised? Am I surprised? Of course I'm surprised. I don't, I'm not looking for the next five minutes. <laughs> you know, we're not thinking ahead. <laughs> Blothar, by the way, it's Blothar. Ah. I know you pronounce the accent mark correctly, which, you know, <laughs> don't do that. It's just for effect. <laughs> <Gotcha>. <laughs> Um, for, for some of the viewers, you know, we used to have Guar on, on my old show, Red Eye, with the late odorous Urungus. You remember him quite well. He was the lead singer. You were the uh, bass player. Yeah, you miss him? Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, do we ever miss him? Yeah. Odorous, he spoke very highly of you. Oh, did very he? Very highly. Look at that. Which, which, was, which isn't hard because he was always hot. <laughs> that is true. That is true. I will not. Um, I will not elaborate <laughs> on that. But tell us where you're from, and for new for new viewers. Uh, well, Guar is from outer space, from <laughs> far past Uranus, as you know. But yeah. we were banished to this planet, to this piece of crap planet, <laughs> yeah, yes. and we wound up entombed in ice in Antarctica, right? Where we just, you know, laying down there like a bunch of pot pies waiting to be thawed out. <laughs> You, um, I'm excited about the fact that this, I, I never thought Guar would actually have a whiskey. And I tried it before asking you what's actually in it. And it, it, it's really good. But I probably should have asked you what's in it because it's from Guar. What's it? What's in yeah. it? Yeah. I, 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 I have absolutely no idea. I assume it's just hand sanitizer and food coloring. That's, that's my guess. Yeah, Catoctin Creek rye whiskey. Yes, it's it'll it's, get you messed up. <laughs> <laughs> so I gotta, I'm curious. So you're starting your 30th anniversary tour. Um, what did you do during the shutdown when you couldn't tour? What did Guar do? Ah, you know the same thing everybody did. We just hoarded toilet paper and drank rubbing alcohol. I mean, <laughs> <you know. laughs> we were. I mean, we're, really, we were glad for the break so we didn't have to be around each other. You know? <laughs> I don't have to tell you about the smell of guar. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. You know, I was curious. Does, do the members of guar require vaccination, or are you naturally immune to the novel viruses that have been developed here on Earth? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we, we don't have anything to do with that. <laughs> guar, guar. We didn't do it. I can assure you that whatever happened... It's not our fault. <laughs> it was not an accident. We're not responsible. I did I, I say that right? My lawyer's over here. Yeah. Okay, yeah. All right. I am. Uh, I approach this question with some trepidation. Just does, besides whiskey, you also have another product uh, for the bedroom. Am I correct? Oh, I didn't know we were going to be talking about that. <laughs> My. <laughs> yes, yes, we're coming up with, uh, yeah, we're coming out with a, with a, a, a quite a product for the bedroom. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. What, what, what is, would you say that it's more like a marital aid? Uh, well, <laughs> for a particular kind of marriage, I suppose it would aid. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> I don't know how it's going to fit, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know exactly who that would aid. <laughs> Looks more like, more like, like a, a marital hindrance, a roadblock. <gasps> Yo, um, <laughs> where are you gonna? Where does your tour begin, and when? Uh, well, I have absolutely no idea where the tour begins. <laughs> I just go where they send me. Tickets are on sale now, and it's it, we're playing Scum Dogs, yeah. our classic shock rock. 
historic album right from front to back will be accompanied by some of our old friends like uh, techno destructo yes uh the sexecutioner and uh, i mean he'll they'll be out we'll have special guests from our past that will come out to is make it, things isn't napalm death opening or touring with you they are yeah yes the, that very family friendly soft rock <laughs> of napalm death yes exactly and I hate God. I hate God. And Madball. Yeah, Madball. Yeah, yeah. Who knew? I I didn't even know they were still. No, they're a great band. But Napalm Death. <laughs> very again. Bring your kids. <laughs> Grandma loves Napalm Death. All right, I gotta go. I gotta go. Um, if you what you got it. If you don't know who Guar is, you gotta check out their music. We just the opening song was Viking Death Machine, a classic. Blothar, a pleasure talking to you. Hope we have you back in studio soon. Oh, I will be there. You know it. Excellent. Don't go anywhere. Our ombudsman, Steve Phoenix Jr., is back to tell us what we got wrong.